Good Monday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik on a very mild Monday, a little bit different schedule for the time frame tonight. You may be expecting Tim Simpson or Jim Jaggers here. Jim is taking off through about Christmas, and of course, uh, Tim Simpson graciously worked for me on Saturday evening so I could attend my wife's Bartlett City Schools IT department's uh, Christmas party. So thanks to Tim for allowing me to take some time off and me filling in for him for tonight and keeping an eye on what's going on in and around the Mid-South for this evening. Again, fairly quiet for right now in the area. If you're traveling or know somebody who's traveling as we go into the rest of the holidays, we'll talk more about that forecast in just a little bit. Don't forget to download our weather app so we can keep you advised as to what's going on with weather in the Mid-South and, of course, points beyond to keep you updated as to what's happening out there. Monday evening, just past 8 o'clock, this is Weather Overtime. Thanks a lot for joining us and keeping an eye on what's going on with weather in the Mid-South area. Drop your location and your weather reports if you've got them into the comments section, and we'll read some of those off as we go along. Uh, City-state location, got a temperature reading, winds, cloud cover, whatever you got out there. Let's see what's going on where you are. doesn't have to be in the Mid-South south area can be in points beyond across the entire country again if you've never watched this before news channel 3 is in what we call the mid-south that's west tennessee east arkansas and northern mississippi it can't stick around for the whole thing no problem just read the forecast in the blue bar down here or you can drop by wreg.com slash weather for the latest weather information to keep you updated as to what's going on. Fog could be a problem overnight. If you're going to be traveling early tomorrow morning, anything past about midnight, again, could be looking at maybe some patchy, possibly dense fog out there. That's something we're going to be watching very carefully, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Chilly tomorrow morning, but not cold enough for anything involving freezing fog across the Mid-South, so that's at least some good news. But again, for tomorrow, want to know what's going on. Find out more with Todd Demers. He'll be on bright and early with daybreak starting at about 4.30 tomorrow morning. And the rest of the next few days, just a sneak peek out there. Yes, there will be more clouds out across the area, but we're going to be looking at the possibility of some very very mild temperatures. These are very uncommon for this time of the year. They can happen. They're not impossible, but again, they are going to be a little bit different than what we've been seeing around here for a while. So winter off to a very warm start into much of the area. Ashley Norris, do you think we will get any snow this year? It's possible. As of right now, the forecast for winter is, again, calling for a fairly mild all the way on through the season and just about normal precipitation out there. If you'd like to see the complete NOAA winter outlook, all you have to do is go to wreg.com slash weather, scroll down beneath the forecast, and the information is listed there. So you can check out and see what NOAA has for the area. That's the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And there are complete winter forecasts is available for you at our website, wreg.com slash weather. Taking a look at our live cams this evening from I-40 and Witten Road. Pretty busy. A lot of people in motion across the Mid-South and points beyond for tonight and into and around the area. As we go through tonight and tomorrow, traffic could slow down due to that fog out there. Uh, 48 in Durham, North Carolina. Sharon L. Pace, welcome to the show. Thanks for checking in. And William Skage from 45 degrees. That's pretty warm for Detroit at this time of the year. Thanks a lot uh, for checking in and everybody else for watching. Merry Christmas, Maya Fowler. Hope I'm saying that right. Thanks for dropping on through. Fairly clear skies for today as dry air worked its way on through. Very busy at the airport. A lot of FedEx jets in motion out there watching throughout the afternoon and evening. And as of right now, in the Mid-South, at least, really good news, that green airplane icon showing up for delays of 15 minutes or less. So if you're catching a late flight tonight, at least in the next couple of hours, no problems here. And likewise, throughout the continental United States, for one of the second busiest days of the year leading up to the Christmas holidays and the rest of the holiday season, it's been pretty good for travelers out there. Things moving along quite nicely, even though we have a couple of storm systems one on each coast, and we'll take a look at that coming up here in just a little bit. Either way, late flights tonight, no problems being seen out there. A little bit of rain around Atlanta from that last storm system passing on through parts of the southeast United States. So, so far, so good across much of the country when it comes to travel. And if everything holds, looking pretty good into the rest of the year for forecast here in the Mid-South, but again, more on that coming up in just a little bit. Visibility in the area right now, no problem whatsoever. 
looking at unlimited visibility for right now and very clear skies up above, so not much to worry about in the way of problems here. Now, we do have, again, a little bit more cloud cover into and around the areas back to the south and to the east of us. You can see a lot more clouds here, but fog not a problem, at least for the Mid-South area for right now. Cameron McNeil, Merry Christmas to you as well. Hope we get some real winter this year and some snow. Uh, it's possible. Uh, again, right now it just doesn't seem too likely for anything immediate going on. It's just way too warm out there and nice warm weather for Christmas. Well, you're definitely going to get that, so no question on there. What's left of our last storm system is wrapping up around the northeastern Gulf. Lots of rainfall here. Florida back up through Georgia and parts of the Carolinas. We've been seeing, again, some pretty heavy rainfall. Matter of fact, about 10 inches plus back toward the Carolina coastline, so some pretty sloppy conditions. Anything north of the Panhandle all the way back up to just south of Chesapeake Bay is going to be seeing some pretty nasty conditions for traveling by road. Anything east of Atlanta tonight could be a bit of a problem, so if you're traveling there, again, could be an issue, so definitely want to keep an eye as to what's happening across parts of the southeast United States. Here in the Mid-South, again, nothing showing up in the way of precipitation as very dry air settles in across much of the area for right now. And again, much of that rainfall gone down to the southeast, a few sprinkles down toward Birmingham and all the way down toward Montgomery, but most of the activity between eastern Alabama and back into Atlanta where there is some sprinkles. But once again, as we saw from the travel conditions out there, not much of anything in the way of slowdowns taking place anytime soon. If you're looking for winter weather, west coast is the area to find it for right now. A lot of Wind, a lot of rain, a lot of snow in the higher elevation of the Sierras and back into the western areas of the windward side of the Rockies. Could be looking at some pretty good ski conditions into the next couple of days as this next storm system gets set to slam on through. And another system cranking up beyond that in the Gulf of Alaska. So a couple of storm systems to be taking a look at into the course of the next couple of days for the west coast. So if you're traveling anywhere between San Diego and Seattle, even up to around Vancouver, could be looking at some slow travel conditions out there through the holiday and into the possibility of that we're going right after Christmas for right now. Robin Z. Bowman Brainerd, sick and tired of having no winter weather. Well, keep in mind, we're just at the beginning of the season, so hang on. We've got a long ways to go on this. Debbie English, loving the weather there. And Pinky Buckley, also saying enjoying the weather, and Merry Christmas to you as well. On the cool side across the Mid-South, but this is cooler than where we were a couple of hours ago. These actually right here are about the normal high temperatures for this time of the year and we spent most of the day well above normal into the mid 60s and that's again about 10 degrees about where we above where we should be going to be going even higher than that in the next couple of days and stay tuned for that as we take a look at the forecast here through news channel 3 at 10 lower to mid 50s diving again into the lower 40s to upper 30s into tomorrow morning. So we're not seeing freezing fog, but we will see the potential of fog across the area as that leftover moisture from the last couple of days and that warmer conditions from the ground radiates upwards into that colder air. But so far, freezing fog, frost does not appear to be a problem. And over the next several days, even warmer than this in the morning hours. Now through the rest of Christmas Eve during the day, very pleasant. High temperatures tomorrow, once again, topping the 60 degree mark pretty easily at those northerly winds, maybe bring in a little bit of a touch of cooler air uh, into and around the area. So very pleasant for tomorrow as well. Uh, Diane Murchison, like today's weather just fine. Thank you very much uh, for that vote right there. And into tomorrow evening, church services and uh, kids' services and specials going on at local churches and worship centers across the Mid-South. Dry and cool, no major winter weather inbound, no major storms like severe weather inbound. So that looks to be, again, decently quiet as we get into the rest of Tuesday evening and even nicer as we go into the big day itself coming up on Wednesday. Looking ahead to tomorrow morning, again, visibility really starts to drop. Now these numbers don't look too totally terrible. 3.2 in Memphis, 3.1 in Clarksdale, 3.8 in Corinth. Again, limited visibility, 2.8 around Somerville. That doesn't sound too bad, but again, localized areas could be seeing a lot lower than this, and we might see a patchy, or, or we will see patchy dense fog. Whether or not we get an advisory 
that's up to the National Weather Service. So again, we'll see what comes up as we go into and around the area for tomorrow morning. So definitely want to stay tuned for that. Taking a look toward Christmas Eve, quite on the mild side out there. As we get into sunset tomorrow night, right after sunset, as we start to get a little bit more in the way of darkness across the area as the lights start to snap on, it's going to be very mild. Temperatures in the mid-south back in the lower 60s, partly cloudy skies. Sunset tomorrow a little earlier, a little bit on, pardon me, on the later side as we start to gain daylight hours slowly back at 4.54 p.m. So starting things off on Christmas Eve quite nice across much of the area, and that trend will continue into the next several days. So again, no major problems being seen out there for right now. Now, we should see mostly sunny skies early on with clear skies overhead, but fog down toward the ground, and then partly cloudy skies throughout the rest of Christmas Eve right on into the area again by the evening hours. For the big day itself, again, temperatures back into the mid to upper 60s and even close to 70 degrees across much of the Mid-South area. So we are talking way above normal as that jet stream heads north and allows a lot of warm air to surge up this direction. But not seeing anything in the way of rainfall for the area. So looking pretty quiet on that right on into Thursday. So family, friends in travel mode out there. Again, no problems at all being seen through Thursday uh, into and around the Mid-South with mostly cloudy skies. Yes, there will be chances of rainfall coming on through. That doesn't start to show up again until about Friday. Where we see scattered showers arriving with that next storm system from out west. And temperatures drop a little bit, but only into the lower 60s. So it still will be pretty mild for this time of the year. Now, toward this next weekend, the best rain chances, unfortunately, Saturday or Sunday. So a lot of people in motion going back home again before New Year's could see some slowdowns out there. But no winter weather once again. And that comes to an end as we go toward Sunday night. So a little cooler, closer to normal by about Sunday. And then Monday, as that cold, dry air wraps around the backside of that system, numbers back in the mid to upper 40s. So looking rather nicer uh, into the area there. But chilly and also dry as we go into the final days of 2019. New Year's Eve during the day, mid to upper 40s. About the time we ring in the new year and the new decade, it will be brisk across the area with temperatures dropping into the upper 30s. So definitely if you have any outdoor plans or travel plans going between parties and whatnot out there, first of all, don't drink and drive. That's one of the dumbest things you can possibly do and dangerous, so don't do that, please. Looking at temperatures, again, pretty chilly, so get ready for a cold, dry start to the new year and the new decade. First day of 2020, looking at numbers back in the lower to mid-50s, and numbers, again, pretty close to normal all the way on through for this time of the year for right now. Lakeisha Taylor Love wishing we could keep these mild temperatures. Well, Outside of a bit of a cool down, we're going to be keeping them around the area for right now. Jim Goff, welcome from Trenton, Tennessee. And uh, Lakeisha Taylor love flu weather, that's true. And everybody wash their hands and please make certain you're covering up those coughs and sneezes, please, because, you know, sharing those germs is just not the present everybody was looking for during the holiday season out there. Lori Robinson, Lori R. Robinson, pardon me, nice view from Brownsville from this weekend. Not too sure if this uh, sunset on there. Thank you very much for that one from the Brownsville area. Former News Channel 3 photojournalist and all-around nice guy Dan Patton catching a fog bow this morning. Actually, a double fog bow. You can see the main one here and the secondary one just right above that. This is also known as a white rainbow. You don't see too much in the way of color there you see some of it but because the moisture is fairly limited and there's a fairly weak amount of refraction going on we don't have the full colors that we see if we had a rainbow actually rain falling from the sky so we caught a little bit of this under decently blue skies but with just a little bit of moisture out there it was more of a white color than anything else so thank you to Mr. Patton for that one and Tony in Memphis catching the exact same view from a different vantage point from around Wolf Chase Mall. He also caught that fog bow uh, in and around the area of North Germantown Parkway. So Tony in Memphis, thank you very much uh, for that one. Looking at, again, some clear skies there. And from this weekend, the cloud cover is starting to clear out the area. B. Nassau from around 
Rosemark managed to catch a sliver of the sunset off on the horizon under some pretty heavy cloud cover as it moved out of the picture. So thank you, Mr. Bob Nassel, for that one from around Rosemark. And thanks to everybody for sending in those pictures. We love to see them. More importantly, we love spreading them around so everybody can see the great amounts of the uh, photographic work out there. So thank you very much. Got any weather pictures you'd like to share, please send them to my social media network pages or send me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com. And again, we'd love to have you along for the ride where it comes to your pictures out there. We can't show them if you don't send them, so you kind of see the problem we're working with there. So go ahead and send those in. Donna Marie Sexton, Orsburn, Oxford. Beautiful. Looking at good conditions there. Thank you very much for that one. And Heidi Steinhagen, Hope I'm saying that right. We'll be coming from Houston. Welcome uh, back to the Mid-South. Coming up as we go into the next couple of days, again, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on that forecast for the end of the year. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised as to what we're seeing. Right now, it does not look like any major winter weather systems are coming our direction. So definitely good news on that. But keep in mind that things can change. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3. And we'll keep you advised as to what may be heading our direction as we go into the brand new year out there. Also, you see a lot of those great tear-jerking videos that we show from time to time. Uh, kind of really just makes your heart melt a little bit about people coming home and surprising their friends, family, and loved ones. Well, unfortunately, not everybody can make their way home for the holidays when they're on duty someplace else. So part of what we do here at News Channel 3 is to bring you on the home front a little closer to what's going on overseas. And we'll continue to do that with weather where the troops are. And we'll talk more about what's going on in Iraq with, again, clear skies with the exception of Najaf in the central southern part of the country just before sunrise on Tuesday. Got a few clouds there, but clear skies from Mosul to Baghdad and down toward Basra, close to Kuwait. And again, if you are wearing the uniform of our country or know people out there who are in your family, again, thank you very much for your service. And we'll give you a complete update around the world as to what's going on at various locations coming up in just about a half an hour on my Facebook page, Twitter, and Periscope. So if you'd like to see more about what's going on around the world at various locations, stay tuned and we'll bring you updates on that coming up here on just in just a little bit with News Channel 3. Rest of the evening, decently quiet across much of the Mid-South, and again, fairly quiet all the way through the holiday season, but as always, things can change, so please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on social media or on air, and we'll keep you advised as to what's going on uh, in and around the Mid-South and points beyond to keep you informed and safe out there. And if there's anything on, around here that you'd like to see, more satellite pictures, more climate data, anything like that, let me know, and we'd be glad to put that up there with everything we've been featuring here so far. Drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com, and would love to hear from you uh, on things like that. Diane Murchison, yes, love bringing that uh, again to uh, people so they can see more about what's going on overseas. And again, a big thank you to everybody uh, who has service personnel and their family, especially at this time of the year when a lot of people are away from home. So again, good opportunity to stay in touch as to what's going on, and we'll keep you updated with that as well. Todd Demers will have more coming up on Daybreak in the morning, and Tim Simpson will be back for your Christmas Eve forecast starting on News Channel 3, first at 4 on Tuesday. And of course, I'll be doing things online to keep you updated with what's going on around the rest of the world, so stay tuned for more. And of course, in the Mid-South, naturally, so stay tuned for more on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, USA, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick on a very very nice Monday evening here in the Mid-South. More to come with News Channel 3 on air at 10 o'clock tonight with your complete wrap-up forecast. And, of course, online with News Channel 3 at wreg.com slash weather. Thanks for joining us tonight. Stay safe through the holiday season and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest.